Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be yet, and I'm saying yes, yet another nail polish haul. I got a lot of discounts, I accumulated some money, so I just thought of buying nail polish. <sighs> there's an auto that just passed by, and every time I said to film, there's some noise. So I have switched off my fan this time and I'm sweating like a pig but we're just gonna look past that. So I have a lot of polishes. So without further ado, let's hop on to the video. So firstly, I wanted to talk about this brand called Indian Lacquer Holic. I have done a whole review on them which I will link it in the description box below. I got their liquid latex during their promotion offer. I will leave all the product um, names, prices and links if I can find them down below so you can check it out so i got this on a promo offer for like 200 bucks and she sent me the red stamping polish for review so i got these two i really love the liquid latex like if you see my video you know that and then uh, the red stamping polish which i absolutely love again so it was also my birthday month in march which is the reason that i got so many of these polishes but not all the polishes i just thought Okay, it's birthday month. I can buy anything I want and it'll be justified because it's birthday month. So first up, I got two color bar uh, nail polishes as birthday gifts. So the first one is Phantom. So this is a very, very, very blackened navy blue which has some um, navy blue shimmer in it. It looks like it's black but it is not actually black. This is a type of color that I don't have at all and for my friends it's really difficult to search for polishes that I don't have and this was a good job I would say. And then uh, I got this one, uh, this is uh, Pink Smith. This is a rose gold which has again silver shimmer in it. This stuff is amazing. It's completely opaque in one coat. It's so beautiful. It's a rose gold and I absolutely love it. If you guys want to see swatches, head on over to my Instagram. I have swatched some of them. I haven't swatched some of them. But how? But I am using my words already. However, all the swatches will be up on Instagram at some point or the other. So and I'm going to switch on the fan because it's too hot. And then there was, uh, what offer was that on Nika? There was some sort of their sale that happens all the time. So I wanted to buy a couple of things and that's when I decided to buy the Nika nail pens. I finally got my hands on them. I know I'm late to this bandwagon. I just wanted to check out what the hype was about because when I saw I didn't really find colors that were unique anymore because I have so many plain creams and I can buy creams at any drugstore that I go to so I wanted to purchase uh, polishes which are unique but when I saw this I got this as a trio which was again on offer some sort of an offer I'm not really sure but it was the holy sale so I got these three polishes the first one is creme brulee this is a gorgeous beigey pinky sort of a nude it's absolutely beautiful and this takes three coats to be completely opaque i like it it's really good and then i got strawberries and cream i have an exact dupe of this in my collection which is from new you and it's like half the price so this is a peachy pinky orangey sort of a shade and this is two coats to be completely opaque what was really weird about this was this stained my nails like this color stained my nails i can see if a color like this stains my nails but this one actually stained my nails which was really shocking how how does that happen and then i got this one this is called watermelon sorbet this is a pinky red this is really really beautiful to go to be completely opaque it's watermelon sorbet and it looks like watermelon on your nails which i like but what i don't get is the hype around these polishes they're not they're pretty good but they're not like oh my god sort of good they're good that's that's how I would say. If you've tried Nika nail polishes too, let me know what you thought of them. I can't be the only one who doesn't, who isn't bowled over by them, I have to say. And then I placed an order on purple for, of course, take a guess, for steak worky polishes. Um, because I wanted to try some of their polishes and when I was trying to place an order, the reason why I placed an order was A, that purple had a sale where I got like some percentage off and then steak Walkie was on their 99 store sale again so i picked up three polishes and this time i picked up those polishes which were not creams because i've tried creams and i love their creams so i picked these up sadly these do not have uh, names on them like other 
polishes from Stay Quirky do. I don't know what's the deal with that. However, I will leave all the names down in the description box below. So the first one is this one. This is a red color. Um, it looks like cream in the bottle, but it is not. It's a very, very, very subtle texture sort of a polish. It's really, really beautiful. It takes two coats to be completely opaque. If you're the sort of person who wants to get into texture, but doesn't want like heavy texture this would be perfect for you it's amazing i really like it i don't know why i'm so tense today like my eyebrows can you see that <laughs> and then i picked up this one from the jersey shore effect and again i'm not sure of the name it's a lilac base which has blue and green and red thingamajiggies in it i don't know what they are but it's it's really beautiful it looks almost white on your nails which i love so i used this and this to do a mani this is the um ilh stamping polish in red and this is the jersey shore one and oh my god it was beautiful i'll pop the picture somewhere on the screen for you to see it was absolutely magical beautiful all those sort of things and i loved it so this is again two coats to be completely opaque and the last one this also i'm kind of disappointed with the purchase i think this is called such a drama queen is it i think so i'm not really sure so this is kind of like a tinted base which has teal blue hexes gold hexes of various shapes and sizes so that's what it looks like it looks absolutely stunning in the bottle and so that's the reason why i picked it up this is a topper polish which again i'm fine with and i knew that at the time of purchase but the base to the glitter ratio is really bad the base is really 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 heavy so you get like maybe a chunk or two of the glitter on your nails so i was kind of disappointed with that after a certain point it becomes base heavy so didn't really appreciate it but i kind of regret buying this i do next up i went to another one of my favorite stores which is health and glow they had uh they have a lot of trios currently as far as i've seen they have like two creams and one glitter sort of trios and i got these three which is their black face star trio and again i got this for an offer like the original mrp was 2.99 i believe i paid 1.99 for this so this is from their uh the trio is itself called as black fiesta and so it has two creams and it has one glitter so these do not have individual names but the whole collection in itself like i said three or four times is the black fiesta collection so it comes with a gorgeous teal green polish it looks really blue on camera but it is not i tried capturing this polish in so many different lights but it never turns out well and accurate so this is a gorgeous like tea it has more green than it looks on the camera and it is too close to be completely opaque it's absolutely beautiful and then i picked up this one uh, i mean it came in the trial like i the trial that i picked up this is like the same almost the same as the my nika nail paint except this is a little bit more on the red side and that is a bit more on the orangey pinky uh, side i haven't swatched this yet i think i haven't swatched this so the formula looks pretty good it, it looks like it's a two quarter so which i'm kind of happy with and then i got this one which is the actual black fiesta part this is a clear base which has black hexes peach uh, lemon yellow and blue and red uh, all different sorts of um, hex glitter mix anyways you will see it in the close-up shot this is stunning i picked up the trio only because of this polish and i'm so glad that i did because this is jam packed with glitter and you just need one coat i laid this over new use antique white which is a very 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 pale baby you know and it looks absolutely stunning just one coat is more than enough and i'm i'm so glad that i picked it up let's just leave it at that and then i got two more uh, polishes as birthday gifts this is by a brand called 18's gel base enamel so this is a gold um, kind of glitter so this is more a yellowy gold and it has hexes and bars in it so that's what it looks like and uh, the one that is very similar to it oh, this was also another birthday gift and this is in the green version of it like it is separated so there you go that will give you a better view so this is the green version and this is the gold version i haven't swatched either of this yet so lastly this set or this 
yeah this set that i got is the one that i'm so excited to share a reliance trends finally opened up near my place which is very 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 close to my place so I went there and of course i bought like a shirt or two and then when i was at the counter i saw the nail polish stand i was seeing what colors they had and they had a set and when i saw one of the polishes i was like give it to me it was in my cart the next moment and and the best part, the best part is that the original MRP was for 199 and I just got it for 100 bucks. which was like, score, 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 discounts, yeah, for discounts. I don't know why I'm so excited for discounts. So I got this six piece set. I'll just show you individually one by one. So the first one is this beautiful, beautiful dusty pinky shade and this is called Berry Pink. I swatched this, this is beautiful. It's about two coats to be completely opaque. It's really, really, really beautiful. And then I got this one. This is called as a Rose Glitter. This is a rose glitter which has hexes and small hexes and a rose gold tinted base. It's really beautiful and this does get completely opaque. You could probably do it with three coats to be completely opaque. That's how I got it. And then the next one is called rose gold which is a rose gold chrome sort of a shade. So anyway you will see it in the close up shot. And then I got this one called GL04 Peppy, which is a um, pink and blue glitter topper. I have wanted this polish for a really, really long time. I think this is available individually as well. I'm not sure. I had all the boxes as well, but I think I threw all of them away. So, I'm sorry. And then I have this one called as silver glitter which is a silver glitter go figure and that is actually what is on my nails it's so like it's so chromatic and it's bright and it's fun it looks like white but it is actually not so this is about three coats on my nails i do still need to top coat my nails but this is also absolutely stunning and my favorite 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 palette of the entire collection and the reason why i picked up the whole not collection the reason why i picked up the whole set was because of this polish so i saw this on um, nails fashionista's channel kajal from nails fashionista and when i saw this i was like i went on a savage hunt for this for about six months i've been trying to find this and i finally found it this is called gems you will see it in the close-up shot why i like it because it's a curly base with crap in it and that's why i like it of course so this is really beautiful and it's just two coats to be completely opaque it's right up my alley and i I am head over heels in love with this. So those were all the polishes that I picked up in the past, I would say two, two and a half months or so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which polish was your favorite in the comments down below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, share, rate, comment, subscribe and all the jazz. And I shall see you in my next one. Till then, bye. This is a... You may hear some fan noise in the background, but anyway. But then this, it's so stunning and it's really great for summer. And it has a blue, like blue. I like blue, so you should, you should know that by now. Why am I giving such an overreaction?